Hey everyone, welcome back to another Krita tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to take an SVG from Inkscape and import that into Krita. So here I made two shapes with the Bezier curve over here. And obviously your design might be more complex, which is totally fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, Save As. And just so you know, there are two different types of SVG file types. There's Inkscape and Plane. You want to save the Inkscape so you can always go back to this vector image and make changes and edit it, which will be much easier than doing it in Krita. Mainly because Inkscape is built for this. Krita has limited vector capabilities, which I still think are really great to use if you're just starting off or just need something simple. But if you're looking for more complex uh, tools, Inkscape would be the, uh, the preferred software to use. What you do want to do to save this to import into Krita is to save as a plain SVG. I've already saved some versions of this out, so I don't have to save it. But save it wherever you like, on your desktop, folder, or whatever. And then we're going to go back to Krita. Now you don't have to do anything special to make it the new document. You just make a new document, you can have as many layers as you'd like, one or two, whatever. It doesn't matter. Now we're going to go up to layer here. Go to import and then import layer. I have this set at all supported formats and that should be, I think that's the default now, but I'm not sure. If not, just click on this. I apologize for what this is going to look like. <laughs> click on that and then go to all supported formats. And this will just show you everything that you could possibly import into Krita as a layer, but it will also be much easier than scrolling down here to find SVG. So I'm just going to do the first bean shape I did. I'm going to change this to 300 because I don't need that to be really heavy. I believe the default's 1000, but I mess with this too often to really rem remember. I'm going to give it a second to load, and here we go. I recommend using the free transform tool to move this around because it's faster than using this tool. Now first I want you to show you that in your layered stalker, when we imported this shape, it is automatically a vector layer. You didn't have to create a new layer for this. You didn't have to do anything but simply import the layer. Now we can right click on this and you can see that we can do uh, bring it forward, move it back between other vector images or assets or whatever in this layer, which is helpful if you're doing a certain look, if you have something specific in mind. Now if you want to edit the shape, use this selector tool, click on it, do not deselect, and click on the edit shape tool. We can now change the points in here. It is a little slow, and I don't know if it's just because my file is really big and this is really big, but it's a little slow for me. Come on. There we go. I also have other things going on in my computer and it's a little warm in here, but regardless, this is what you can do. Now, I don't really recommend doing this if you made this in Inkscape because, like I said, if you need to make changes, it's probably better to do it in Inkscape where you made the file originally so you always have the original ed editable file. And that's pretty much all you can do. So we can go ahead and change the points like you would here. Go back to layers. You can't change the line. Oh, you can't change the line color. Sorry, my credo was being weird earlier. So you can go ahead and change the line color. So we'll just change it to purple. Oh, that's the wrong shade of purple. Oh no, it's... I'll just make it bright blue. We need to be able to see what we're doing. Let me make sure the fill works. It wasn't working last time. Yeah, it does work. All right, cool. So I don't know what I did last time, but it wasn't working with the fill bucket. So you can go ahead and change that, but again, I don't recommend doing that in Krita. I recommend doing that in Inkscape where you originally made your file. And the reason for that is if you make edits in Krita and then go back to your Inkscape file, you don't have that file to match your Krita version now. And you can still scale, you know, stretch it, rotate it, you know, the same stuff that you could always do. Nothing's different. So, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully... This was helpful to some of you. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in below. Or leave them in the comment section below, as always. And I hope this helped. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.